హలో యూర్ వన్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు చైతన్య పిక్సల్ ఇన్ టుడేస్ వీడియో వీఆర్ డైవింగ్ డీప్ ఇన్ టు పవర్ క్వరీ టు క్లీన్ ట్రాన్స్ఫార్మ్ అండ్ స్ట్రక్చర్ ద డేటా వీ హ్యావ్ ఎ కస్టమర్ అండ్ ప్రోడక్ట్ డేటా సెట్స్ విత్ మెసి డేటా బై ఎండ్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ వీడియో యూ విల్ లర్న్ హౌ టు మర్జ్ కాలమ్స్ స్ప్లిట్ ఇన్ టు మల్టిపుల్ కాలమ్స్ రీప్లేస్ వాల్యూస్ ట్రిమ్ అండ్ క్లీన్ అప్ అన్నెసెసరీ స్పేసెస్ అన్పివర్డ్ డేటా అండ్ ఫైనల్లీ మర్జ్ కస్టమర్ అండ్ ప్రోడక్ట్ డేటా టుగెదర్ ఫర్ బెటర్ అనాలిసిస్ ద ఫైల్ లింక్ ఈజ్ అవైలబుల్ ఇన్ ద వీడియో డిస్క్రిప్షన్ యూ క్యాన్ డౌన్లోడ్ అండ్ ఫాలో అలాంగ్ లెట్స్ జంప్ రైట్ ఇన్ so we have the customer data in excel file in this format we have the customer id first name last name email id phone number address date joined and order details if you carefully look at this we are going to perform to merge the first name and last name as full name and when you come to the phone number the phone number is associated with unnecessary dots and hyphens after the close bracket and the address it has several unwanted spaces between the text and the address is concatenated with address city state and the country and few cells have broken into multiple lines as well we are going to clean up the address and split into multiple columns on the date joined we are going to convert the date joined column as date column and we are going to extract an additional column as beginning of the month of this date joined and order details column has multiple orders we are going to transform this order details column into a product and the quantity column and let's see the product details so here every product has a name we are going to merge with this product details table with the customer table in order to get this product names so let's start now i'm going to close the product details and customer details right now i have here this customer final data excel file which doesn't have any data i am always working hard to bring you the latest features and updates your support means a lot for me a simple like comment and subscribing to our channel really motivates me to keep creating awesome content for you so request you to please like comment and subscribe to our channel let's continue so go to data tab click on get data from file so first we are going to work with the excel file so from excel workbook now select the customer data and import click on sheet 1 and you can preview the day customer data click on transform now the table has been loaded into the power query i'm going to rename the table tbl customer now let us import the product details then we will perform the transformation steps there are two ways to import the product details now either we can close the power query window and go back to excel and import the notepad file or in the power query window itself in the new source click on file and choose text or csv this will open the notepad connector select the product details click on import you can preview the data click okay now the product details have been loaded let me rename the table tbl product one is tbl customer other one is tbl product now if you look at the data carefully the column headers have been taken automatically as column 1 and column 2 this is not our column headers i am going to remove the changed type the headers are in the first row so in order to make the first row as headers under home ribbon click on use first row as headers so this way the first row will be promoted as headers similarly we are going to customer data and remove the change type now under home ribbon click on use first row as headers the very first row will become the headers and it identifies the data types as well now we will perform one by one 
first merge columns so we are going to select the first name and the last name together right click and choose merge columns this option and when you go to the transform you have the merge columns both does the same job and click on the merge columns and give the full name and the separator is space we need a space between the first name and the last name and this merge columns option will replace the original first name and last name columns and adds full name column in that place when you click ok you can see the first name and last name columns have been removed and the full name column is added whenever we utilize the merge column in the right click in the transform ribbon it will replace the original columns if at all we need to retain the old columns and add the full name as additionally third column you can remove the merge columns select the first name and the last name go to add column tab click on merge columns now choose the separator as space again the column name is full name and click ok now the full name column is added at the end here we can see the first name and last name are still present and if you scroll right you can see the full name awesome right now we transform the phone number here if you carefully look at the phone number after the close bracket there are dots and hyphens we are going to replace the dots and hyphen with the space right click on the column go to replace values value to find is close bracket and dot and replace with close bracket and space click ok now all dots are replaced with the space again right click go to replace values value to find is close bracket hyphen replace with close bracket and space click ok now all the phone numbers are properly formatted now address column in the address column address is broken into multiple rows so first we right click click on the transform and click on clean this will cleans all non printable characters that is line break and other non printable characters click on it now all the address are properly aligned into one single row right click again and click on trim this trims all unwanted spaces if any unwanted space is not removed you can select any one value and copy that number of characters in the bottom again select the address column right click replace values value to find is paste those copied spaces and give only one space click okay this way all unwanted spaces will be replaced with one single space when right click and split column by delimiter so here the delimiter is pipe symbol and then click okay now the address is split into four columns the first one is address double click on the header and rename address and the second one is city and the third one is state and the fourth one is country and then date join this date join is already identified as a date column these dates are updated whenever the customer joined suppose if at all we want to extract the very beginning of the month and the end of the month of this date joined you can go to add columns and click on date 
so when you go to add columns it always adds new columns and click on date and go to month and start of the month this way it will be added another date column as start of the month again select the date join click on date go to month and end of the month you will get two columns with start of the month and end of the month we can make use of these two columns for any further analysis when we do now order details we clean the order details and then we arrange all these columns into appropriate places so first select the order details and each order is separated with the semicolon right click and split column by delimiter here the delimiter is not colon but you can see here semicolon so choose semicolon and then click okay so now order details have been split into three columns select all three columns and then go to transform data click on unpivot columns this option will unpivot all three columns we can remove this attribute column we don't need it we have the product id and quantity associated with the value column if you look at the value column few orders having space character at, at the beginning and few might be at the ending as well so in order to remove all these unwanted spaces right click on the value field go to transform and trim so this will remove all unwanted spaces again right click on the value column go to split column and choose by delimiter this time our delimiter is colon it identified the delimiter as correctly and then click okay now the product and the quantity have been split into two columns rename the value dot one as product id and value two as quantity now we have the product details in another table so we will merge product details here and get the product name go to home tab click on merge queries here there are two options available when you click on merge queries the merge operation will happen in the current table when you select merge queries as new this option will create another table and perform the merge operation so we don't need to create another table so we are going with the merge queries and the second table is product details select the product id and go to at the end you can see the product id that we have created and you can see the selection matches 55 of 55 rows from the first table so that means all the product ids from customer table are matching with the product ids from the product table click okay and click on this expand button remove this use original column as prefix and remove the product id we need only the product name so click okay so the product name has come we can remove the product id now since we have the product name we don't need the product id again so select the product name and move before the quantity and start of the month and end of select the start of month and end of month move after the date joined and the full name move after last name now let us check all the columns are arranged properly or not so we have the customer id first name last name full name email phone number address city state country date joined start of the month end of the month product name and the quantity that's all 
we have performed all the necessary transformations that we regularly perform in any of the data so we send this data to excel now so click on close and load so this will add the data into the excel tables the product details also have been added to excel we don't need the product data here so we are going to delete the sheet so i'm going to delete this uh, previously added the sheet and we have the customer data and we can rename this to instead of tbl underscore customer i'm going to rename the sheet as customer data uh, we can close this queries and connections pane you can see here the tbl customer data added 55 rows into the excel sheet and the product table has connection only if at all we need uh, the product information as well at any time you can right click and load to and choose a table and instead of existing sheet you can choose a new sheet click ok this will add back the product information into the excel sheet so how cool is that i am going to close the queries and connections pane and that's it for today you have just learnt how to clean and structure data like a pro using the power query this is insanely powerful you don't need to write any of the programming language you just use the power query to clean and structure the data like a pro if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and drop a comment on what you want to learn next keep learning and i will see you in the next video until then happy querying